Good. I'd like to hear those words. For Eric or me. In the shadows. Bottom of this draw. Mm hmm. He's coming out to check it go right now. He's getting ready to walk out into the sun. You'll be able to see him good if he walks out, huh? Yeah. Good job, dude. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on him, Martin. Okay. I can see his wrath right there. I mean, he's not mad, but he might be in the His beams are cool because he kind of like wraps in, but he just kind of looks a little willowy. Yeah. It's it's hard to tell, dude, because those heat waves are kind of making it unclear, but his beams look good, but that's about it. Oh, yeah. Dude. Shooter? Um, <laughs> somebody's going to shoot him for sure. I saw the doe like, like right as we pulled up. Right yeah, first thing I saw, an keeping an eye. Yeah. He just got out of his bed, I think. It's funny because he's right there. He almost there the looks whole like time. A, a nice three on one side and then a big two, but he might split on that beam. A little bit. Yeah. But he's kind of like tall and then wraps, dude. Yeah, I saw the beam. Let's do this. All right, I think those deer are starting to settle down after running like 800 yards across two canyons. So we're moving in. We both have a rifle, we both have tags. There's two bucks, but there's one main target buck. The three by three with leg guards is the, the one Martin's gonna go after. So, heading in. We're gonna go get on that knob up there. Those deer over here. We got him, guys. We, we found him bedded at 430. Ooh. Yeah, we had, to, we had to reposition. Dropped him. You dropped him. He's he's dead. Yeah, his legs up. Does nice. does right by him. Okay. Dude, that other buck might swing in. Well, Martin just dumped his buck. We're gonna sit here and wait to see if that other eight point comes around. The spikes are there, the doe is there, so he can wander in anytime, so we're just gonna hold tight. Well, this has been a heck of a hunt. Lucky enough to go with Martin on his stalk, watch him shoot his first coos buck. And then, like I said, we just sat there, and sure enough, another decent little buck came out. And heck, for the heat of the moment, I would've shot it. Would've been happy, it's just that he just never would stop. He's chasing that doe. So we're gonna try to get to Martin's buck before it's dark. You can see the sun's going down. Beautiful night here in Mexico. Stoked for Martin. Let's go check this thing out, he looks sweet. Oh yeah, right there. See those heavy horns.
guys. Some pretty capes. He's got some like orange up in here. Like kind of good coloring and then that gray cape that they're known for. Just blends right in, in the shadows and whatnot. But yeah, pretty. <laughs> Such a pretty Pretty buck. buck. <laughs> that is a cool coos. Got that mass, my guards. He's not like next level. It's a little broken on his tips. But uh, he's a cool buck, a great first buck. Mm-hmm. We almost doubled up, Chad. Almost doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty, man. He's so pretty. Made it to uh, the buck like you saw, and uh, Devin made it up here. <laughs> this guy's so, so down, much, baby! So much fun out with this. So, guys, guys this Always time we stay. gotta be a little quiet because there's another. There's, is there two in here now? At least two. Yeah. Okay, there's two shooters in here, so we're probably gonna come back tomorrow, but yeah. <laughs> Goose down, baby! <laughs> that was fun. Can you see them rutting on your side? Oh, dude, it's so. Ben called me, they, he said, hey. Eric and Martin said they just came over to your side, and I look up with my eyes, dude, I'm like, they're just doing this, dude. Yeah. Threw up my binos, and they kind of went over here, and then I lost them, and then I saw a spike down the bottom, so they might be back in the bottom on my on side. That one. Well, Chad, first coos, what do you think? They're cool. Freaking just little guys, but uh, you walk up to them, and they got quite a bit of color. They're pretty. Their faces are super pretty. They have this <clears throat> kind of bronze-orange coloring when the light hits it. But they're cool. He's got some bladed, kind of, kind of some mass for how mm -hmm. for his really age, is. you know. A little broken up on some tips, but overall a cool buck. Couldn't be happier for a first coos. <laughs> Why not? Casa. David's gonna be excited. Casa. Oh, Got him home. We'll show the boys. Kurt's just showed up and uh, David, the ranch owner. So now we're gonna show it to them and then we'll get him ready to eat tonight. We'll probably have some back straps on the grill. So sad. Martin. Hey. Thanks God, man. Thank you. <laughs> the killer for you tonight, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? We did it, huh? Yeah, that was fun. We went Thanks on the God. stock together. Yeah. It was fun. We almost killed back. two. Man. Yeah, we almost oh, really? had two. Yeah, we almost had two, but... What happened with the second one? They are running too fast. Oh. Was it bigger? Run. No, well, there was a nice one and then a small one. Oh, uh, yeah. Rutting a doe. There was a hot doe up there. Cool. Yeah, yeah so, they were running like crazy. Martin got it done. Can't be a video from Mexico without showing you guys the food. We are uh, cooking up the buck I just killed. There goes his heart. Are those the testicles? Yeah, Ben wanted the testicles. <laughs> ben wanted them? Yeah, Ben wanted them. <laughs> so, of course, of course uh, Ben is. wanted the testicles, huh? We're getting carne asada. The They've got some uh, big, big homemade tortillas. They usually whip up a good old batch of guacamole. You see the testicles on there for you? Which one? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that what you wanted? The Rocky Mountain oysters? We're going to try them out. See if they pop when you bite them. The Sonoran Desert Oyster? <laughs> the desert of the, the oyster of the desert. I like it. Uh, taking care of Martin's buck over here. We got it caped, skinned, and actually it hung notch it? in the, uh, the, the hush game bag. So yeah. a lot of stuff going on, but I definitely want to show you guys some of the some of the hanging out at camp and the dinner we The food has been awesome out here. Don't think about it, just eat it. <laughs> Smell it. Cheers, boys. Damn. Yep. <laughs> I got the meatiest part. Dude, that is good. <laughs> it has like a sweet taste to it. I want to say better than I thought it'd be. It tastes like, um, to me it reminds me of like a, a scallop. If you didn't tell me it was a ball, it got, like, it would have gone down really... That's like Liberty. very, very <laughs> underrated. It's good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Now raw might be different. Yeah. <laughs> like that, it's it's really good. Did it have like a sweet basil? Huh? Another one? Yeah, you want to try this one? They have like They're a sweet. Better than the calf's balls, huh? Better than calf's balls, all right. Mm -hmm. Really? You see? Try it. Tell me if you want. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> what does it taste like? 
It's good, it's good, huh? You can't do it. Swallow it. <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> He's gonna gag. We win. Oh. 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 Swallow it. Come on. <laughs> do it. Why did I get like a rubbery piece? <laughs> I got a sack or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Like it just won't, doesn't break down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, put the carne, you know? I don't know. I got the middle of it. Get some. Who's your heart? You feel me? I feel you. you. <laughs> Let's go. Yummy. He filleted it. Yeah, like butterfly. Yeah, like butterfly over and over and over and just kind of laid it flat. So cook it like super good. Okay. Yeah. So let's try. Yeah, that's really good. That's the last right. heart I had was elk. No, no I battered it and fried it. Definitely has a touch of a like a different texture, but the grill, the outside, and the seasonings. At first, you just think it's a steak. Good morning, guys. We are right back out out here where Martin killed his buck. Trying to locate some of these other deer we saw yesterday with that hot doe. With this hot doe, we kind of figured this would be a little buck nest and deer could be moving in and out. New bucks could be showing up any day. So we had a cold night with a frost and uh, the sun's about to come up and I think it's going to get pretty good today. Nice weather. We got shed crazy glassing over here. Devin, Martin are just to my right. They're glassing. Well, things change pretty quick. We got up this morning with everybody glassing and uh, decided to glass into these yellow hills and found a pretty dang nice mule deer buck. So we're gonna go get a closer look, but the ranch owner said he had three mule deer tags and we kind of been talking about shooting one if we saw a big one and this one's a big one. Um, he's busted on this right back fork. Martin got some video of him through the scope. He should be up and over the, this top and then across or down in the bottom of the next side. So. We're gonna try to get a closer look. If it's something we wanna shoot, we'll shoot him. It's a freaking stud buck. Just kind of the look I like. Big G2s, dark, dark, dark antlers, man. Just a cool Sonoran mule deer. He just left 10 yards. Maybe he did. He's behind a bush. 330. He's walking. He's just chasing that doe. He's just chasing that doe. It's alright. I'm right. Just wait for him to stop. He's just chasing her around. Might get another shot. Where did he go over? See those two cactuses? Over there here. Much. Yeah, but he came up over he this He hit the one spine one. and went off that way. We might have to look for blood or something. Oh, down here for a Okay. Well, things happened fast and we got right on that ridge top where we figured we'd see the buck from. And sure enough, Martin spotted him chasing a doe. 
And like they do in the rut, they're just kind of running wild, but we whistled and got them to stop. I felt pretty good. Uh, I had the gun rested on my backpack and put it right on him only at 315. And somehow missed, so we're just trying to relocate him. I've been dubbed the king of second chances before. So hopefully it works out in my favor again. Get a second shot on this big buck, man. We finally got a, a view from him of all angles. Sucker is wide. 30 inches plus. Would have been a big old four point. So we're gonna go look for him and try to do it again. Chag just spotted the buck, the mule deer buck. We're after, so we're leaving hombres to go uh, put a stock on this buck. Try to get him. Got some ground to cover. I'm gonna go down this canyon up the next. The buck's on the next little ridge in between, so good eyes, Chag. Good eyes. for him to replace her mm -hmm. and let it fly on his back. <whistles> Get him in that yellow grass when he comes up to her. might come back dude don't worry they'll come back well guys i'm on the cell phone because i'm pretty sure i left my vlog camera up on the hill right where we were sitting um waiting for that buck to stand up which like you saw in the video he did and i thought it was a done deal guys we're so close but he just worked the brush never really gave me a clear shot and uh, he never really stopped. Every time he stopped, he was covered in brush or facing away. So we're going back in trying to relocate him or the white tail. And uh, hope we have better luck this time.
Oh, hold on. No, we're good. You're good. Never mind. I thought I forgot my camera. It's going to be like, oh, no. We gotta go back. You can, put, you can place this on the back. This toolbox. I like it. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Mexico. We were out here on what became our favorite glassing knob. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little stock from the last trip. I've got a, a few more things to share from you just to kind of connect the dots from that whole hunt. But we're back in Mexico on the same ranch hunting for coos deer and possibly mule deer. I hope I get a chance to hunt mule deer again. We've got Shed Crazy, myself, and David. And we just want to welcome you guys back to Mexico. We are about to glass the first light. Good I, news, I guys. Just glassed the coos deer. Been abandoned this side, so I decided to glass over there. And literally, as soon as I turned around, I saw a big coos deer body. So other than that, just two mule deer does. Uh, it's brutal, brutal windy. I don't know what the deer are doing standing, but this buck is in a. Shouldn't call him a buck. We'll call him this deer is in like a nice little spot. Yeah, I'm sure tucked in that little draw that's not blowing. Well, that turned out to be a pretty pretty solid morning to be honest at least compared to what we saw last time we we're out here we saw more deer than typical it's just we didn't see any bucks so kind of lets me know that maybe the rut is winding down we we're hoping we can catch the tail end of it i still think there's a chance that there can be a hot doe running around here and there but this is the house we stayed in last time and we're back looks like this part of the house is like an addition David got this place set up with uh, solar power and Starleak internet. So we got all kinds of Wi-Fi in here, but this is the kitchen. This is where we eat. Little dining table. And then this is the uh, the guest room or the bedroom where we're staying at. A couple bunk beds. I think after we eat and get a little bit of a rest, we'll head back out. It was super, super windy up there. I apologize if the audio is really bad on this camera. I actually lost my boom mic my little dead cat on the top of this, so the wind might be pretty bad. We'll get back out there and get after it for the evening hunt, and then I think tomorrow we'll put together a full day hunt. Well, here's where we're posted up, getting the glass out, looking over this canyon. Got a water hole right down there, which it's hot, so I don't see why it wouldn't be getting used. But, uh, hot and sunny so I'm sure things are bedded. I'm gonna try to pick it apart bedded and Ben can kind of see off this way. Good morning guys. Day two we are packing up and gearing up for an all-day hunt if needed because David is headed, headed back to town. He's got to take care of some business so he's kind of ditching Ben and I on the ranch and we get to go hunt wherever we want. We set and studied Onyx map last night pretty hard. Try to cover some new country and turn up some new bucks a little more towards the mountainside. Okay guys, we got to this top. It's a pretty sweet high point. We can see a lot of country. And as soon as we got here, we spotted some mule deer. Just kind of do-it-yourself type of hunt. We've got the whole day to do it, so. Again, we just left the ranch house and looking at the maps and onyx with this heat decided I'm gonna go sit above that water hole again, just a different point of view. About a two mile hike from the ranch. We're still without a truck, so we're just kind of doing our own thing. The water hole is that way in the bottom of the canyon. We'll be up high. Here we go, another try. It's been pretty tough, man. This is not an easy hunt. Most of this terrain, the topography just doesn't allow you to see a lot of country at once, unless you're up in that steep stuff where we were yesterday. So that's kind of what it looks like where we're at. Like this. Get little pockets like that, or pockets like that. That's really all you can see. We just got here above this water hole. And we've already got a white tail spike buck. Above the water. But at 
least we have deer already. So we're gonna try to make this stuff our water holes. Right down here at the bottom. Yeah, he's looking out, dang it. He's running with his tail up. I don't know if he saw us or smelled us or the cattle. Oh, it's the cattle. They all smelled us, dude. As soon as that wind switched. Wind switched and hit our back and right down to the water. Even scared the cows. Alright guys, just as that spike ran out the hill, I glassed another deer bedded. Looks to be a decent buck, so we got the GoPro. I'm gonna get set up just in case it's a nice buck. He's bedded away from us. Perfect situation. What do you think? I think it's a good one. I saw it. I saw it turn and I saw it move backwards. Okay, heck yeah. is a 2.1. towards us. Okay, he's gonna walk out right there. He's walking away, going up through the oak too, you got him? Kid, you hit something. You hit him. Yeah, I'm on. His, um... I just kept shooting high. Dang, dude, I just, at the last second, I went to a 2.0 even. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Stoked for you, man. Freaking earn that one. Holy crap. Dude, guys, I'll tell you what. When people ask me if I like hunting coos deer, I always tell them I do because it's a challenge. It's a challenge because it's they're small. They're hard to see. But when it comes to shooting, I'll tell you what, they're hard to hit. They're not big. Yeah, we debated on the dialing on that shot. I know. Guys, yardages. I got to work on uh, my chart. My chart goes 300, zero. 351, 400 at 2.1. Always Those. juggling that. I gotta get a chart that's a little more dialed. You just killed a oh, small buck. Hunt. That's a good buck. Dude. This is a freaking tough hunt. That's the widest buck we've seen on this ranch, huh? Yeah. We said we'd come to this little area and hunt by the water hole, dude. Where was he? Right above the freaking water hole. I'm shaking. Oh, man. Yeah, Sucks shoot. when you miss, man. Sucks when you miss. Um, I did a follow up shot. He was hurting there, but he was trying to get up. So we always say, shoot them till they're dead. 
we don't want to take any chances so i set up right here on the pack and 460 what yeah 460 469 guys we got a buck in mexico on this uh taking a risk on a new ranch which has been awesome it's a fun ranch um the cool thing about this place is there's zero feeders there's zero trail cameras it's just a ranch that david got from his family this is the first time he's managed it and uh devin got us down here and it turns out to be pretty slim pickings as far as deer numbers but that's okay it just makes for a tough hunt and i think that this buck is super rewarding to me because we work so hard for it two trips to mexico thanks to old ben for coming down both trips yep it's been fun um i know david has more tags ben yeah, didn't bring a gun learned, but i got one this, man like we're wondering what these deer do after the rut we're like where do they go we're looking for them up in the hills and everywhere I think that tells us the only two bucks you've seen are camped out near water. Near water. They're probably run down from the rut, drink staying close to water, close to feed. So now we can hunt the water holes and I think we'll find another buck. I know he's somewhere at this, this elevation. And somewhat underneath a tree. Oh, right here. Whew, straight ahead, dude. Oh man, talk about some cool colored antlers. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, he was hurting right here. Freaking stud, bro. Look how wide that deer is. That's a pretty, pretty buck. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, we hunted so hard for a buck like that. That deer is awesome, dude. Like he, yeah, he's just sitting here bleeding out. Yeah. Buck. Guys, that is a gorgeous coos buck. Look at that frame. Great. Golly, he's pretty. That's a great buck, dude. That's yeah, deer. gorgeous deer. Yeah, Thanks for your you help, man. They are little tiny deer. You got your G1s and then a three-point frame. That's that's a typical coos deer frame. You got me. Uh-oh. Yeah, those are not good. Well, Ben, I think we got what we were looking for. Dude, it's time to do work. We got the uh, Hush Deer game bags. Can I use your knife? I didn't even bring a knife. Ben's got me. I got you. I didn't even bring one of my knives. I should have, but that's all right. I can't even get them. Everybody's complaining. I can't get your knives. I mean, either, bro. It's cool. We're going to slice them down as if we were going to cape him. I'm not going to cape him. Take the neck roast, at least on this side. Two shoulders, two hinds, two back straps and uh, two tenderloins and some scraps so i think we'll probably eat the back straps and the tenderloins tonight but look we got just enough daylight to get this done in the day and ben's gonna keep glassing for bucks all right guys we've got the uh deer taken care of we got all the meat off the carcass we pulled the heart Ben reminded me of that. I got to get better at pulling the heart. I typically just forget. So here's what we got. We got three game bags full of meat. Whoops. Pretty sweet little buck. Just decided to cap him. I probably won't even European mount him. I'll probably skull cap him down at the ranch house. We got a saw. I've got the K4. So they launched these at the Hunt Expo. And I have been getting an increase of interest for those who have noticed. We've had a sample. So they got the final ones done. Um, the K4's been great. I'm gonna throw up, throw in all the quarters and scrap meat behind this bag. I usually take the lid off, just so I'm not dealing with it. Lid. Pretty simple. Velcro right through that buckle. Same with this one. Again, the strap to the lid. Just get it out of the way. Velcro. It's a whole new frame system. I'm not going to sit here and act like an expert and know all the details about it. I've used it all season. I can tell you it's lightweight. It's very supportive. And it gets the job done. Outside of that, I know they changed up the frame quite a bit. So these straps are what you're going to use to tie down the meat. These deer are so small. That's yeah, literally nothing. This has got two quarters and some straps. Put that up there a little higher. And then this meat, this is the scrap meat. Maybe I'll set it right there. So it's supporting it. Super heavy duty. 
heavy duty buckles. I can really crank on those and not have to worry about them busting. So if you want, if you want, you can loosen these bottom straps just to give you some slack to bring it up, but we're not hiking too far and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So this buckle from the top here, I have to get both of those in place where they belong. Stand it up, suck those in. Then you got your bottom ones. I'm gonna thread in the, the uh, lid. I'm gonna put the head under the lid. That lid will support that buck head and those antlers come out of it. All right, we're starting our journey out of here. Drop the pin on Onyx. It's kind of fun seeing all the tracks. Well, I don't have all the tracks from every hike every day on both trips, but I've got a lot of them and we're smack dab in the middle where we've been hunting. And you just wouldn't, wouldn't have ever been able to see this hill right here uh, from where we glassed, because we glassed off of the top of this one, right in front of Ben, for two nights. We've done it at least twice now, right? Yeah, we saw a lot of does, but I don't think we've ever seen like a decent buck. We've never seen a buck from there, but just up that canyon is where we saw the big one. So we might have to go give that other water hole a try, see if we can't locate him, but we're walking out of here. Is that another rub? Dude, yeah. finally we're starting to see rubs. We just... Maybe this is like a little buck though. Yeah, it could be. Might have to give it a day's rest and come back. So, headed to the ranch. It's a beautiful night here in Mexico. These skyscapes are always super cool here. Makes for some good scenery. Hike miles. Broken hearts. Broken jeans. Uh, it's tough out there, bro. Did you see anything? Nothing. No deer here. No machos. Did you see adult? Small mule. Sad. What do you think? Me? Yeah. Nothing, man. We better wait till tomorrow. We pray. What are we praying for? Big bucks? <laughs> you got him. This is Zerio. We got him. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you happy? <laughs> and you got some dinner going, huh? I'm about to start, man. Heck yeah, with tortillas, my man. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Como estuvo, wey? Man, man, how was it? Perfect. We hiked from the ranch house and took an old road. Nobody's been on the road above the water pond. The same one. Yeah. And right when we got to where we can see the water pond, there's a bunch of cattle and a spike, a whitetail coos spike. And so they ran off and the cattle ran up the draw and I glassed right above the cattle and this guy was just bedded. Wow. So we shot at him in the bed, but I missed him. And then he ran off and I had to shoot him, shoot at him again. Have you taken the score yet? Uh, no, I think he's gonna be like 95, something like yeah. 95. He's a super nice buck. Wide, pretty buck. Just eat it whole? No, just the bowl. Just the ball. So good, bro. So simple. Wow. Lemon, salt, and onion. Toasted. Real. That's good, guys. We we came back to a dang feast. David started the grill and started cooking these quesadillas that are killer. We got cheese in them, pepper, avocado, a little bit of salsa. But uh, old Ben's man in the grill doing a dang good job. We got carne asada again. Bite? Yeah, That's give me some. Hot as heck, bro. That is hot. Oh no, my lose. What a night, right? It's a beautiful sunset. Oh yeah, perfect night to have a barbecue. Mm. No wind. Beautiful. Mm. 
I'll probably eat more beef on this trip, between this trip and last trip, than I have in a dang long time. And I'm not gonna lie, it's freaking good. I've become a fan of crispy beef fat just on this trip. Now look at that. I just didn't eat it a lot, man. I had mostly wild game. We got the buck and uh, the meat hanging. We got three bags of meat. I might actually separate some of the quarters just to open them up and allow the heat to get out. They have two quarters in them. So those quarters will actually trap heat. And it's going to cool down a little bit tonight, but not a whole lot. So I might just move those after dinner. But we are about to grub some meat and some tortillas, some avocado. Honestly, like a perfect night out here in Mexico. This is like the definition of why I come. Obviously to hunt, but stuff like this, man, this is killer. The atmosphere is beautiful. Mm-hmm. David, great host. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, here we go, guys. Our last day in Mexico. It's going to be another beautiful sunrise as we got some cloud cover. No wind. Ben's looking for a Kuzmuk. We're actually headed up the ridge. We're taking the same exact path the day that I killed. We're seeing the majority of these deer somewhere in that canyon, whether it's high or low. But gosh, it's freaking awesome up here. Look at that. Never does it justice on the video. Everybody's. It's going to be a killer sunrise, like one of the coolest. As soon as those, as soon as that sunlight hits all these clouds. We're going to hike to the top and kind of glass down by that water hole and see if we can't get lucky. Updates with you. Alright guys, I just spotted a coos buck. Looked like a pretty dang nice one too. But he went behind these trees. I saw him move a second ago. And I'm just waiting for him to come out. Well, we're trying to get like a really, really good look at these bucks. It's tough because we've already got heat waves, but there's two bucks right in the exact same spot. And they're not bad bucks, for sure. I think the one possibly has an eight point frame, but it's either missing his G2 on the left or broke, I don't know, I can't tell. They both kind of disappeared right here in the same little pocket. So we're just gonna stay, stay here and see if we can't watch them come out or assume that they bedded right there. But Freaking thick where they are at, right on the top. It's gonna to be hard to see them. I think, I think that uh, we found them. That's good. DC blocks them up. And we're gonna go get a ridge closer and see if we have a better angle. The one block like looked good enough. So I think if he's there and we can make it happen, we'll probably try to shoot him. So. He's not on this first ridge. He's on the second. We're gonna go straight down, straight up. Keep the same angle and try to relocate him. Let's go, fellas.
It'd be nice if you hit high and still hit his back, you know, but it's up to you, man. Dropped him. Dead? Dropped him. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd never been that cool to come collect it on oh, him. Ever. <laughs> He's uh, big, man. He's a solid buck, dude. Heck yeah. Man. Really you must have been rock steady. <laughs> I felt really good. What a shot. That's his bump Ben just dropped that buck in his tracks. 340 yards. <laughs> Last day buck. Heck yeah, Ben. Little freaking golf balls on him, you know, just so steady. And I'm like, do I want to take it? Do I not? Like, dude, I'm not even shaking just a tiny bit. Usually I'm like, ah. <laughs> we had so much time to set up and just get perfect. Then. Oh, that was money. I'm like, what do you think? Should I shoot? He's like, well, that angle is good. If, you know, like you want high like we did on the shot the other day, then he's still done. And as soon as I pulled through, he was still just sitting steady in the crosshairs and just, oh. Wow. Yep. Dude, you got a bug on the last day, bro. <laughs> David. Mexico, baby. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Thank you. This Good has job. been a fun hunt. Good All right, we're headed over to get him. It's only 340 yards away. We got a little small draw to cross, but that couldn't have worked out better. Glass in that buck. What? It was late. The sun was up. About that moment where you're starting to get discouraged because it's getting hot. You think the bucks are going to bed, but... This buck was just living his best life, kind of up against this rock cliff. Now we get to go check him out. He's right over there. We made it to him. Uh, holy brush patch. What a little spider, huh? <sighs> brow, too. G2s are busted. Shoes are broken, brows are broken. Little scrapper, dude. Didn't know when to quit. <laughs> cool buck, man. Just pretty and just cool buck. Dang, his beams kind of swoop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. He was busted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Both twos in his brow. So, I mean, technically, you guys know how it works. Like, we can give him what we thought he had so that dude's probably 100 and what 30 Dang, 130 dude 18 inch g2 probably cheaters off both sides yeah, we'll dude. fix him up <laughs> what a sweet little last buck. day buck man how perfect, cool perfect buck for for the last day here in mexico after a great trip with with eric and with david couldn't be more stoked man chipped on that point too. little dropper on the bottom huh almost Pretty sweet, man. Beautiful Tucked bird. up here in the shady side. Yep. Living by this cliff, this is where he's feeding forever. Yep. We were up on the top of that one. This is the rock band uh, he was kind of chilling by. He was eating off this bush for quite some time, but we got it done, got some photos. We're gonna gut him and probably pack him out whole. Jet Crazy's just gonna toss him over his shoulders, get him down to the ranch where we can take care of him, but we don't have any game bags, so we gotta gut him and carry him out. We got it. That's why we work out, boys. This is why we lift. <laughs> David, thank you. It's fun times. Appreciate it. Una carnita asada ahorita, ¿no? Vamos. Hey, hey, back to the ranch. Ben carried that whole deer the whole time without stopping once. Got him in the shade. There we go. I feel like I could float right now. I bet that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday, baby. Hope you guys enjoy your chips, your dips, and your wings. Well, we've got some uh, meat to take care of and get this thing butchered and 
sort out everything and get them skull capped or whatever Ben's gonna do for getting them across the border. Getting them across the border is a little tricky. They have to be dried out. They can't have any ticks, any hide, any meat. So I'm skull capping mine just so I don't have to deal with it. I think I probably will too. Do the same? Yep. All right, we're getting down. This is some beef right here. Had some quesadillas. We pretty much devoured that. Just uh, cleaned up a back strap, the coos deer back strap off my buck and a tenderloin. And threw it on this grill. So this stuff is killer. Tenderloin, looking pretty good. Then we cut these, I just cut these into little medallions. We're gonna cook those like so. So that's half of one of the back straps. So we have a little beef, we have a little deer. See what's going on and what do you got there? This is a little SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. The best. Simple. Simple, yeah. The best for something Not quite simple. Quite as good as the hush life. You know, but... Yeah, guys, you guys know we got our new seasonings. They're on the website. Um, they've been out long enough to where we're getting feedback, and people really seem to like them. So thank you guys who have purchased. You know we have all the merch on our website, gethushing.com. And yeah, I'm pretty much gonna wrap this up. Just want to say thanks to David for having us out to his ranch. Thank you, David. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thanks for Ben. He came out on my first trip out here and came out here again, and I'm so happy for him to be able to shoot a coos deer and take one home too. So we went two for two. We're going to feast for a little while, but uh, I don't know what's next. Pretty much shed hunting for me, probably Ben. You guys have heard by now we've got a shed closure in Utah, so that's going to mix things up, but we'll get past it. We'll find somewhere else to look. Um, again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next video.